Hi everyone, I thought I'd um, show you around the current build of um, Hereford 1642. It's one o'clock in uh, Burghill, Hereford at the moment, that's where I am. So, um, yeah, just uh, wanted to show you what, what, what the current state of play is. Should be quite nice. So let's have a look in, let's, have, let's launch the game. Got a nice little menu system here that was this uh, from the marketplace actually. So yeah, let's uh, jump in. Let everything settle down. It's a bit of a uh, frame rate drop as you enter the game as everything loads in uh, but yeah that we're in now we are in the middle of Hereford so this building here is now uh, HSBC Bank uh, that is wide my street straight ahead of me right now and then this is looking down into High Town this is kind of where the coffee cart would be and uh, that little alleyway up there is um, up towards Church Street. So, where do you want to go first? Let's have a little run around, I think. Um, you might have seen images of uh, aerial shots, but I haven't done much of uh, running around on the ground. As you can see we do actually have some NPCs which are disabled at the moment um, for testing but they do have um, daily routines and uh, there's a couple walking around over here. Uh, these are all my friends and people that I've asked to uh, help me so all of their faces are f photographs of real people and then I've just been making the costumes and rigging and skinning them and in Blender and whatnot. Um, got some birds flying around. Uh, up on the roof there you can see a couple of birds and we've got a flock of birds in the sky. Um, yeah. I mean, th this is the most famous black and white timber frame building in Hereford, the, the uh, black and white house, now a museum. Um, but this is uh, Butcher's Row that used to be there. That's taken from an old painting um, from 1815 I believe. So that, And there's actually a model of that in the uh, black and white house. There's a model of Butcher's Row so I've been working, I've worked on that and made it as uh, accurate as I can. Um, down here we've got uh, what's it? Um, St. Peter's Church and this is where the uh, bus stops would be in St. Peter's Square. Um, that roof is under construction, I might leave it like that just for a bit of a variation. Um, but we've got a lot of the uh, gardens done now in um, in and around Hereford. Cent in the centre of Hereford, I think we've got all the gardens, and they're all planted with vegetables and different fruits. And uh, yeah, we've got bird noises recorded from. Uh, just outside of my garden actually so I've been recording birds and placing them um, as uh, volumes in um, in the game. Um, lots of windows to put in the houses um, that needs to be done but we'll head back to a nice garden <coughs> area um, 
We've got the cathedral over there. My favourite place is, is the middle of town. It's the it's um the most uh, interesting, I think. So, so this is uh, <clears throat> what would you call this? Commercial Road is down here, and then this is where McDonald's would be, uh, the Entertainer, and other shops like that, and Burger King. This is up towards Mail Order Orchards. Um, The weather's just started to change in the game. It started to go quite overcast, uh, so we'll, I might edit it until it becomes sunny again, or I might leave it. <clears throat> uh, we've got some nice um, apple trees, of course, apple orchards, and uh, yeah, some really nice fleshed out. <clears throat> Uh, areas now. <clears throat> You've got a couple of street signs, Wide Mush Street and uh, Fuel Street. A couple of the NPCs just standing stationary at the moment. And yeah, all these houses, you can actually go in every house. Uh, they've all got working working doors, so if I go up and click on a door here. <clears throat> no. That one doesn't seem to be working. Check another one. So this is All Saints Church on your on my um, left. Looks quite dark but I do have a little bit of light in here. It's too dark really to see at the moment because of the overcast day. We'll maybe come back to that. This is Broad Street with um, market stalls. Um, let's find a door and see if, they, see if it's working. Or not. Oh, I've got a bit of a slowdown now. That's weird. Oh, there you go. Back again. Let's test this door. Queen's Arms. Let's test the Queen's Arms door. There you go. Hmm. Close that. This is a nice little street. Uh, what's this? Like East Street? Coming up to the Grapes Pub on your left. Do you want to get? We'll go inside the Grapes Pub. See if it's uh, got a nice little sign there. Grapes. Let's open the door. Should get. Yeah, there's a bit of light in here. You can actually click on the candles and light them, uh, but they're a bit. The flames are flickering on and off at the moment, so I don't know why that is. But we've got a, this is the. Uh, I went to the grapes and photographed it on the inside and recreated it in the game. So yeah, got a barkeeper. Um, landlord of the pub. It's got an upstairs as well. Hopefully, be able to um, sleep in there. Maybe upstairs. Some nice gardens here. We'll go down um, Church Street. I suppose. <clears throat> Starting to rain now. Got the, got the cathedral coming out ahead of us. 
all the way down Church Street, got some NPCs just waiting, ready to go on their daily routines when I hook them back up. <clears throat> Just gonna turn the volume down a little bit on the game. It's a bit loud. Um, so I think earlier on this year I was creating the uh, <coughs> cloisters in different parts of the cathedral. So we jump over here. Yeah, so we've got the Bishop's, Bishop's Palace with the gatehouse just there. I don't know if, if you are from Hereford, you'll know where we are pretty much. That dips down to the left bank down there, that road. Uh, where do you want to go? We'll go in the cloisters. We'll go inside the... Go inside the cloisters. Run around. <coughs> It's like the little, uh, you'll see this from the road, this area, but the, the, the closest on your left wasn't, has been demolished. So this is kind of all blocked in, in 1642. Nice, this is uh, photographs of uh, what's there at the moment, and I've kind of uh, made it modulus, so I didn't have to do all the work, like five times, and I did this all modular around here. So these are just pieces that you can construct into cloisters. Got the Bishop's Palace. Didn't actually gain access to the Bishop's Palace, but I um, used photographs and aerial photography and other things. So that could be one to rework when I actually do get access to it. Um, Anyone who knows the cathedral area, you can. This is the building that's now part of the cathedral school, I believe. And then this is the photographed and textured and modelled little little gatehouse. I don't know what you'd really call that, but that's there. We uh, have sprint. <coughs> This is um, Castle Street, coming up to the castle, which is there, just on your right. I don't really like the amount of foliage, like scrub I put on the floor here. I think I kind of bit over the top with it. So let's have a look around here. So this is how you probably would have accessed the castle. There's one main um, draw drawbridge kind of drawbridge bridge over there, but this is a little path that does that used to lead to it. So um, yeah, and this is uh, Castle Green, as it might have been. <clears throat> Be nice to jump on a horse. Um, Fifteen minutes in. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll edit this part. We'll jump on a horse and hopefully it gets sunny. So we're back in the middle of town to try and find a horse. We'll go for a short ride. I'll try and make this video 20 minutes long. And I'll do. Got some test messages just popping up.
got a little animation that plays when you're in when you can you can control the speed of the horse. There's three different uh, types of controls, three different speeds, and at full speed she uh, does a little whip hand whip. <clears throat> Still overcast, I wish it was sunny. It does look really nice in the sun. So we're heading towards White Cross now. So we're heading west. You can see in the compass at the top of the screen. Yeah, we're heading directly west. Well, let's just take a detour and look at some of the countryside. So I'm using, uh, if anyone knows UE4, UE5, I'm using uh, Nanite for the foliage, which is working really well. I've got draw distances on the foliage that are quite extreme. So um, I do get some minor hiccups and slowdowns when you're loading in new levels, but it's not terrible. So, we've got, what, two minutes left of this video. I'm going to try and make it to one of the villages. We've got one on the way. We've got uh, Burcott, and then we've got um, Huntington out to the west. Some of these roads need uh, another pass, because you can see this road especially, just, that's just the landscape material not particularly inviting. Got a little hamlet coming up, Burcott village, <coughs> hamlet village. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are all nice. These You can go inside every one of these buildings, as I've said before, but we do have quite a lot of the terrain. We haven't got the south side of the river done, but the north side is there or thereabouts. It needs a second pass really, but um, yeah, we'll try and make it to, uh, we've got a little farm, a little industrial site with the um, hop, hop barns, that's a proper word for it, but I'm not thinking very well today. Um, yeah, we'll look, got a nice church here, <clears throat> not far away from uh, the furthest village that you can get to, which is uh, Huntington. Won't be long. Quite happy with the way this area has turned out. <clears throat> Not far now. Here we go. Weather's brightened up a little bit. Just take a gallop right through the uh, middle of the village as it stands at the moment. Got a nice little chapel on your left. <clears throat> and then, I mean, Hereford's not renowned for its windmills, but I do have a windmill up on the uh, top of this small, try and turn, try and jump, go up here, this might be replaced actually because it's not really very accurate for Herefordshire is it having a windmill, but it was just something that I had 
that I had with, with one of my purchases off the marketplace. Had a windmill, so yeah. Okay, 22 minutes, 30 seconds video I should do. Nice little view there. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will close down. Go back to that. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you uh, enjoyed the nice little tour of Hereford 1642. Uh, feel free to get in contact if you've got anything that you want to tell me. I love hearing from people. Um, yeah, peace out. Take care. Bye.